What's going on, guys? Well, I'm going to do a quick uh, cigar review. I have... Oh, <laughs> there's the cat in the background. Patches. Come here. Say hi. This is Patches. Yeah. A good boy. He's up late with me. All right. So anyway, it is uh, it's late. I'm visiting my parents, and uh, they have to work tomorrow. And my wife's in the other room. I got Gus out of here, and patches, and a nice cigar. And I brought my camera because I want to do a cigar review. So this is the Amazon Basin. Okay, very distinctive with this uh, twisted tobacco band. All right, this is made by CAO, and there's tons of information on this. It's known as the world's rarest cigar, and the whole deal is the, what is it called, Braganca? Braganca tobacco that's grown in the middle of the Amazon jungle. It's grown once every three years. That's the uh, the filler on this cigar. Um, so it's very hard to get to, very hard to, to grow. So it's pretty rare. This came out a few years back. And I really wanted to try one, and the first batch completely sold out. You know, couldn't find it anywhere. So I think this was re-reduced, reintroduced, excuse me, in 2016. And uh, so this is the newest batch. I bought two of them at a local smoke shop. I did overpay a little bit. It's uh, normally like 10 bucks a stick, or you can get a box of 18 for around 100 bucks, 110 bucks. Um, but I ended up paying 12 bucks each. But I don't mind because it's supporting the uh, the local tobacconist. So anyway, um, let's see. I looked this up real quick to give the exact details. The wrapper is an Ecuadorian Sumatra, the binder is Nicaraguan, and the filler is a combination of Dominican, Colombian, and Brazilian Braganca. And there's the clock. <laughs> so, anyway, that's that. I'm gonna get this, actually I gotta find some matches. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Found a book of matches. So I'm gonna get this thing toasted up. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of talking right now. I'm just gonna get it started, have a few puffs, tell you my initial thoughts, and, uh, you know, smoke away. Pop the camera on when I need to. But uh, anyway, this is a 6x52 stick, so fairly large. I don't know how long this is going to smoke for. Um, but I'm going to see it all the way through because I'm very excited to try this. Wait a long time to try one of these Amazon basins. So, here we go. Use a camera here to light up. One more little spot on the foot. Perfect. Okay. So.
machen. The room note is really, really good. And uh, I love coming here, not only to see my folks, but uh, I can smoke inside, <laughs> something I don't do at home. So, um, initial impressions, rich, rich, bold, um, just like a lot of earth, you know, up front. Um, I can tell this is gonna be a, a stronger smoke for sure. It, it's definitely got like a bigger punch right up front. And yes, it is Gus snoring in the background. So I'm floating around. Do a little punch cut on this one. But uh, smoke production is great. Very rich, just, it's just a really strong kind of aged tobacco flavor. But uh, damn, really good start, I like it. So far it's a really good start, just really, really rich tobacco. Um, I feel a little bit of that pepper in the back of the throat, it's actually quite a strong pepper. Um, but on that, just like a really strong tobacco flavor, just really full bodied uh, and producing tons of smoke. I just did a little, little punch cut on this and uh, she's burning good. So unfortunately due to copyright reasons, I can't have you guys stick around because I'm going to watch some TV. The other reason I love coming up too is because I don't have cable at home. So I'm going to put on some, some cable TV, which I haven't seen in a while. And uh, like I said, I wish you guys could hang out and watch it with me. But I can't. I can't show it on YouTube. So I'll get back with you as soon as something changes here. You know, but uh, for now, I'm just going to uh, sit back and enjoy. So I'll see you guys soon. Alright guys, well, <clears throat> give you a quick little uh, update here. It's been about an hour and a half since I started. It was a long smoke, probably two hours or so. Um, not really even close to the band yet. <laughs> it's smoking really slow. It is really strong, totally full bodied, and um, definitely full strength because I'm feeling kind of a nicotine buzz. Um, flavor didn't really change. The pepper is not there anymore. It kind of really smoothed out, which is nice, but just a really rich, deep flavor. Um, just kind of a, a woodsy tobacco, nothing specific going on here. But it, it is really nice, but it is very full bodied. I mean, I'm, I have an empty stomach right now too, so that could be affecting things, but uh, it's just really, really good. Construction is great, smoking like a chimney, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. So what I'm really interested in is uh, when I get down to this band, if there's gonna be a flavor change or anything. But uh, right now everything's going nice. The one major thing besides it being so, you know, full bodied, is just the um, the smoothness. It's just really, really smooth. Very nice. So that's pretty much it for now. The only update. Just I'm enjoying some um, pranksters. I forget the, the name of the show. You know the four guys. Uh, what was it called? My wife's sitting here off camera. <laughs> I think it's impossible. Yes. Impossible jokesters. Or impossible jokesters. Impossible pranksters. I hit, hit the guy. I guess. <laughs> Impractical. Impractical yeah, jokers. Right. Yeah, impractical jokers. That's the one. So, anyway. <laughs> really good. So I'll get back to you guys when we get down to the band. Alright?